Hi everybody, Mature Simmer here. So welcome to my start of playing Memoriopolis uh, in earnest, where I'm going to go ahead and just give this thing a try. Uh, being in early access, I do want to be up front. I don't know what we're going to run into. I've definitely seen people reporting some bugs on how decrees work and so forth that they're saying are making the game unplayable. I didn't spend a lot of time looking at it yet. So this may be a program where we just have a lot of fits and starts and things like that, or maybe I'm starting a game over or whatever. So I just want people prepared that this may not be as polished because it is an early access game, so there may be more problems expected than not. All right, so having left your ancestral lands to build your own city, what future awaits you? So I could be a craftsman, a trader, a strategist, security of people, a politician, the greater the number of the opponents, the greater is success. Okay, so they basically give us uh, items. So we get more natural resources here. There's more trade routes there. Um, incidents are less likely to occur there. We get additional decrees, but since we heard decrees have a problem, we're, we're going to stay away from that one for now. Cultural buildings offer more satisfactions if you're a philosopher and a priest. And the population makes random offerings. So again, I think all of this bodes really well for uh, potential replayability because you can go ahead and say, I'm probably just going to stick with craftsmen because that's the simplest thing. I know I need natural resources to begin with. But then you can just start and go ahead and work on something else. The other thing I've seen is that there is just kind of one map. So I think replayability that way will change. But again, it's possible uh, what I'm calling AI generation, the organic growth of how the city grows when you put things down. It could still vary a little bit. I'm sure it's not just cookie cutter that if I put this building right here, it's always going to expand and the town will grow around it in exactly the same way. I'm sure there's a little bit of variation as well. All right, so we need to come up with a city name. Oh, goodness. Yeah, we didn't have to do any of this in the tutorial. This is uh, making me have challenges. So let me think about that for a second and not waste time in the video and then uh, come back with with something. All right, so I've played around with the coat of arms. I've done a few things. They actually give you quite a, t a lot of options. Um, you've got a lot of different shapes. You can use, you know, this is Glyph 1, this is Glyph 2. You can decide what layer things show up on, what color it is. You can see horizontal position, tiling. And we've gone ahead and we're going to call this Cornucopolis. Uh, again, we're craftsmen. We're talking about resources. So the goal is I want abundant resources for my people. And then uh, I'm just going to make my name sound antiquated so we're just going to go with maturis simitatis and hopefully that will resonate throughout the ages all right so the town center can be placed anywhere on the map however your inhabitants have found the right places to develop so i see so riverside is recommended roadside is recommended i don't know that i want to be um, so let's see, I can look. All right, so Riverside is there, Roadside is there, Marshy Plot, that just doesn't sound good, Forest's Edge. Now, is that close? Yeah, that's really close to Riverside. Um, the Mountainside, again, just a little bit farther up. Seafront, the question is, can I see all these already? I can. All right, so you can also just scroll around and pick things. But I think I think the roadside is good because I don't know that I really want to focus on um, a lot of water-based stuff to begin with. Uh, I may regret that, but that's uh, part of the learnings here. So I'm assuming, yeah, this is going to give me the same type of thing all right, decorative buildings, proximity buildings. They have little attractions, so the proximity buildings are new. Oh, okay, so the surveyor hut is the proximity building, so I do remember that. 
obviously we know what production and decorative are just exactly that. Um, they'll be attained as, as those. And then we've got resources and reserves. All right, so it's going to basically build everything up, but I'm going to go ahead and let's uh, scroll out here. Um, I'm going to keep myself... Hmm. The interesting thing is, because I want, I want some, you know what, I'm going to go... Eh. It's too close to the forest, I think. Um, and let's see, because the attraction is there, so they're going to build things there. But I want enough that I can... I don't know, maybe I'll just have to do the surveyor's hut and, and to get rock and so forth. So we'll go ahead and do this. We'll build that. All right, so this tells us the age ends in 1250 cycles. Okay, your family has made this fertile and welcoming land its own. Free to decide your own destiny, this is the beginning of your dynasty. Starting with a simple camp, you'll have to develop an autonomous city that harvests its own resources, boasts a flourishing economy, and attracts other citizens to survive the ages. The goal to make this future city one of the most important in the world, but be warned, your time is running out. All right, so we've got attractions, classic resources. So yes, this is all normal. Oh, get, okay, we want prerequisites by upgrading the city center. We definitely need a small farm. So let's see. Where are we going to put this farm? We're going to put it... There we go. We're going to put it right at the edge. Okay. Now... I think I'm going to need a couple of these. Um, Alright. And we're going to let it have ten fields. And then we want to basically, the village is gradually becoming independent. New families are settling in, but we're going to have to get organized to prevent the central square from becoming a place of chaos. Improving the town center would make it more official and respected. All right. So I'm going to need lumber. So we're going to do that. Again, I can't really go outside the radius, but let's see. I thought I saw... I did see 7,000, but I can't be that far out. So let's see, 5th, 6th, 61, 63. It's looking better and better out here. So I'm going to put this out there. It's going to give me the most resources. Um, and now again, the quarry is not going to work. Okay, that's our cultural radiance. We know about that. And then um, we need to be able to do proximity building. So let's see. Okay, so I can buy this with zero blueprints. So that's good. So that will then allow us to... I'm going to go out this way. Must not be on roads. Must be... Oh, it must be placed in the periphery of the construction zone. Interesting. Alright, so they do have to touch, but I'm going to put that there and then we'll be able to get the quarry over there and then the farm can do its thing because I want to put another farm. Um, can I do that? Oh, I don't have... I need stone. So... All right, I can't do that until the proximity is done. There we go. So now I should be able to put the quarry in. Let's see, 25. Well, again, I can't build it there. So 2245, if I put it here, um, let me see, if I rotate it, will it fit? All right, so it's definitely, that's probably the best I can do. 
All right, so 2510, obviously that's what they should focus on because there's no sand or anything else. All right. So that's all good. All right, so it's building a field. Wow, it builds a field at a time. So it takes five cycles to build these. All right, so to upgrade the city center, what do I need? All right, I need 90 people, and I need wood and so forth. All right, and we're going to keep these things kind of short because... Um, yeah, I think there's only so far we can get. Again, there's only a couple ages. Um, and you can see we're, you know, maybe 10 minutes in. We're already at 30 cycles. So it's like three cycles a minute, maybe. It's probably faster than that, honestly. Because if you watch it go from five to four, let's see. We'll just, we don't have much going on, so. So it looks about five seconds per cycle. So we're actually going to get like 12 cycles in um, in a minute. But yeah, see, this is this is growing. Um, it might really get close to the town, but this is exactly kind of why you want to build things on the edge. Um, you know, wood is is taking a bit we've got a good amount of food which is great because that probably is going to be one of the most important things I mean if you really think about it, all right we're almost up to 90 people so we've almost got what we need all right several cycles have passed and you now have enough citizens in your warehouses to improve your town center all right well then that is what we're gonna do so let us do the improvement. All right, so in 10 cycles, we'll be there. So we went pretty quickly. Um, some of the folks who kind of listed things as a con was the fact that it does seem to, it doesn't let you enjoy uh, what you're doing um, as easily. So one of the things other people asked about is a tilt. Um, and people said, well, there isn't a tilt. There is. You use your right mouse button. Um, so that lets you get, you know, a different perspective. But we can see people are working. All right, chapter one. Okay. So we finished that. We now have unlocked the building tree. Uh, we know about buildings. We know about satisfactions. So, again, I'm just going to mark things. All right, so the good news is, like, this gives us extra information. The uh, whole game is organized around cultures, which schematize the different facets of managing a company. Many game mechanics depend on them, such as politics satisfactions. Production culture focuses primarily on harvesting and reserves. So that's the Horium. That's the Mycelium. We read about all these. The Belfry is not available in early access so um, that means we can't oh it's not available at the start of early access so it sounds like we can't do military right away what I do hope is there isn't some massive mechanic of fighting like I don't want to be fighting battles and I, I haven't gotten that understanding that that's how this worked I, I really enjoy just focusing on the city management and seeing what we can do is, is what attracted me to give this a try. All right, so we now have access to Ceramic Workshops Arena. Because they're using these ancient terms, like I don't know what an escapulium, an echo G center, a via edificium, or a forum are. Um, and we can do an architectural office, which we will need because it produces blueprints. And we have access to the satisfactions all right, so let's go take a look. I probably want to do the architectural. Okay, so the forum is politics, and again, the color. Okay, so that's a religion where charlatans and saviors sometimes mingle under the benevolent gaze of the gods. The luckiest per patients are healed. All right, and again, 
Okay, so the escapulum is the military, surrounded by tiered seating, so it's gladiatorial shows and wild animal hunts. Large arenas might be used for naval battles, but this one is not. So yeah, it looks like we're going to have... Oh, goodness, and there's a lot more cutting camp stuff in the tutorial, if you remember. We just had two, and that was it, and we didn't have any upgrades for anything else. All right, so the architectural office, I think, is going to be key. Workers draw plans for the buildings that are to fulfill the functions necessary for city life, respecting and sublimating current cultural codes while taking into account various budgetary constraints. So I think it's important to do this, so we're going to go ahead and unlock that. Um, but we do have 25,000 right now. All right, so let me go back up a bit so I get a bit of an overhead view. We got to be close to our 10 fields. So we're going to place the architectural office. Um, let's look at the attraction. There isn't any. Okay, your town expands cycle after cycle inhabitants begin to group together and the first districts are formed from now on you'll be asked to erect cultural buildings representing the city's various specializations some of these buildings may be just the thing to satisfy the population the first step is to find out which building to build and why all right all right i'm gonna put that there Alright, so we've got folks moving around. Alright, the stone quarry is doing... Okay, so it generates some disturbances. So this indicates the disgust of the citizens for this place. But we need it, so we don't have much of a choice. Alright, now... Okay, level 3... Looks like it's going to require cultural influence. Let's go look at cultural buildings. So the ceramic workshop definitely, uh, you know, that was important. So it's going to go to a stoneware workshop, but that's important. Military, religion, education. Okay, so the Agoji Center is education. It's a rigorous Spartan education where young citizens are trained from childhood in various skills, such as discipline, martial arts but also singing and rhetoric. Separated from their families and driven to extreme competition, violence is encouraged. All right, so this is commercial. Legionnaires join forces with merchants to construct cobblestone roads that will ensure a certain road stability and provide many more advantages. Hmm. That is definitely tempting. In the public square where citizens gather to deal with commercial, political, economic, and judicial matters. So I would think production, commercial, and politics are going to be important. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the ceramic workshop right now. All right. So now I need to build a cultural building. Your advisors seem to approve of your choice. The first building you've unlocked will bring great relief to the population. It's not cheap to build, and few towns can afford to spend so much. So where can you build your first building? And then we also have an attractive land. New residents will prefer to live in an attractive location with nearby centers of interest. While some environments may repel them, others will charm them. So view the attraction in the filter, and then produce attractive zones. Okay. So. Hmm. I'm going to put it there and let things build up around it. I'm going to stay with creativity, which was kind of what I did before. All right. We're going to view the attraction. All right. And right now, so there we have satisfactions, cultural buildings, we've got all that, nothing's new there. All right, roads are built automatically based on realistic urban planning rules. Each building 
has several road entrances and exits that provide connection. It is impossible to construct buildings on roads and they cannot be destroyed. It is thanks to the different road layouts that the game positions the ramparts or the axes. Okay. So, I don't think we can do anything with ramparts yet. Alright, so this is going to generate 300 attraction and it mobilizes 20 workers so we're up to getting close to 200 already now we are maxed out but I think we want more farms at some point okay so I would have to change proximity okay you now have access to service buildings the Horium and Maselum so reserve and trade routes, so shaping districts. Okay, construction completed. Many citizens would like to live in the adjacent districts as this building provides a certain cultural input. This allows residents to be unified under specific codes and values. The more shared the values, the more peaceful you reign, unless a rich diversity brings more benefits. Okay, districts are non-destructible groupings of houses. They will become cultural districts and they may host a faction. So, interesting. Homes may suffer damage. Alright, what else? Service buildings. So I think again we're going to do the Horium. And then we've got, we know we've got Wanderers and all that type of thing as well. Alright. So the Statue of the Founders is something, the decorative item that comes with the early access. Um, so if you're watching this later, they said it's not going to be available um, in later, uh, to, in the base game. It's only if you buy early access. All right, so we know this is a large storehouse. So we're going to go back here. And we're kind of getting close to where we may call it oh I need what is it? oh clay I need clay hmm well okay so I need quarry but oh okay you know what I need to do I need to look at the resources so if I go to clay let's see this is a zoom oh no that's not as zoomed out as I can be where do we have clay? All right, clay is over there on that side of the water, and it's over there. Hmm. All right, so let me look at the proximity buildings then, because that's what we're going to need. And really, the surveyor's cabin. Wow, so I just need to keep putting more surveyor's cabins to get to where I want. Holy moly. But yeah, that's really all I can do. All right, they don't get damaged from age to age. The number of units that can be built is limited by the level of your antiquity center. Must be placed in the periphery of the construction zone. Hmm. Okay, so I can build four. Now the question is, where can I get to the easiest? See, I don't know that this is going to get me far enough. Alright, let me look again. Do I have, okay, see I have clay there, like, in, uh, they're all pretty far away. So I can't actually build the Horium right now. Well, this is not good. And it, I think proximity is it. I'm, I'm half tempted to increase my space here. Because then I need... 
less cabins. So I think I'm going to do that, and I'm going to use production that way. So I need 1,250 blueprints, though, there. So we don't quite have enough. You know, but if I do this, and then... Oh, boy. How do I get clay? This is a problem. Alright. So if I go out this way... Must not be on roads. Because I think this way, I'm going to go this way, then this way. It's going to be really close. But there's much less I can do that way. Where here I'm along the road. So it would seem that that might be the best way to go. Um... Okay, proximity. Alright, I need to wait until it's built so that I get my my piece there. But this is yeah, it's challenging already. I mean if you really think about what we've got going on. So we're ten percent of the way through our cycles. We're at a hundred and twenty six. Oh, the game is paused because I'm building. I'm like, why is it not moving? <laughs> so, wasted some time there. Sorry about that. But yeah, I think if we, maybe we'll get ourselves to be able to get some clay, hopefully. Um, and then, can I build it there? It looks like it'll let me. And then the question is, so, because I'd prefer not to do more than I need to, but, um, yeah, let me turn that off till we get the space. Is it not giving me? There we go. All right, I was, like, really getting worried. Why won't it let me place this? Oh, it must be outside the dense forest. What? Oh boy, this is hurting. This is hurting. Shoot. Alright, can I destroy these? It appears I can. Maybe. It won't let me. Hmm. Okay, I have to do it from the outside. All right. You will lose effects. Decrease the demolition time. Cost 20 gold coins. Shoot. So, yeah, I, I, I need to go this way, I think. Yeah, because I can get to some clay. Oh, all right. Live and learn. Live and learn. This is exactly what, uh, you know, people would do. But yeah, using these gold coins is not helping me. So now I can demolish this because... Well, you know what? Let me leave it for now. And let's see if we can get... I don't think I can get where I need to with what I'm doing though, so... Well, I might though, because it might not hurt to have that space and then potentially be able to do some stuff. Alright, because my other option was like over here. <laughs> Beginning to think that might have been a better, a better option. But, like I said, live and learn, right? Alright. And then we need one more. We're going to put that there. 
And then I should be able to throw some clay in. Let's look at our satisfactions. Okay, we have a lot of unsatisfied citizens for safety, belonging, pretty much everything. All right, so now if I put a small quarry in, there we go, I can get 6,400 clay. So we're going to build that, and I want, okay, so it's a focus. So that will be clay. The other one will be stone. What is happening here? I don't know what that was. Okay, shaping districts. Construction completed. All right, many citizens would like to live in adjacent. Oh, we already did that. Uh, so we have to create four cultural districts regardless of culture. All right, well, we're going to do that later. So, ceramic workshop is is cultural. All right. And again, it has some disturbances, but that's okay. Okay, so now what? A hole in the bag. Since early morning, the citizens have been outraged. A thief has plundered the town's reserves. According to the report, 71 stone is missing. Increase citizen satisfaction to prevent future incidents. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to have to work on that in the next episode. But for now, we're going to go ahead and, um, you know, say that we are all set here, but this is the start of Cornucopolis. Cornucopolis? Is that what I did? I'm not sure if I'll be able to tell. All right, so we've got resources. All right, that's helpful, too. All right, but why is it just showing a forest? Why isn't it showing all the other stuff? All right, so those, do we have factions? Okay, so the district culture is production. Aha, uh -huh, that's the faction filter, so we do have some. All right, but we have some wanderers. We've gotten our blueprints up to 2,300, which is great. 352 people. You know, compared to, say, a city skylines or something like that, like you can definitely tell. All right, well, this is interesting. Discovery of a ruin. So your inhabitants are very excited. Some of them unearth artifacts and fragments of buildings buried deep underground. Columns are emerging from the ground and faded frescoes are coming to light. Who knows, you might be in for a pleasant surprise by repairing them. I see, so I can repair or I can demolish. But the cost of repair is not low. And like right now, I don't have any gold. So let me look at that. Okay, so it looks like gold is near the water. Yeah, so it looks like we can kind of dig it up in the, in the sand. But I do think I need another farm which I'll be able to do. But again, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm like thinking ahead and so forth. So let's wrap this up so it doesn't get too terribly long. But uh, let me know what you think. I'm always looking for feedback, especially as I've got some new things that I'm tossing out there and playing with. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll see how this goes. Um, not sure how often I'll, I'll return to it. Obviously, it's something new, so there's certainly a little bit more interest, but, you know, I'm always trying to balance the other sims I have so that things don't get too terribly heavy, except in the areas that, that I'm kind of intentionally focusing on things. So, again, there is a possibility that we'll get rid of this at some point and, and maybe move more in this direction, um, but we'd have to go a long way still to uh, do some other things. And like right now, we're close, see, but I need 
a carpentry building to do beams to level up again and then that might give us some options but part of trying this is learning so we'll see what we can figure out and I'm sure we'll have another attempt at things later as we learn more just like anything just like in real civilization you know the first cities were probably a bit of a mess and then as people learned how to do things they they did better and better but I do like the fact that it just kind of builds and expands on its own I don't have to really worry about anything and I can focus more on thinking through what the goals are so if you have enjoyed this and haven't dropped a like please consider that if you are not yet a subscriber please consider that and I will see you next time